Oh, I mean, <clears throat> I felt it was it was good. I mean, it served the purpose to get guys minutes and get some trials to get a look and make some decisions. And um, defensively, I mean, we, I feel like we we're further along than we were last year, and that was like a a big thing coming into the season. I know we didn't give up a ton of goals, but we we felt like we gave up a lot less. So that was a big thing in the off season to try to build us defensively. We, we know the attack stuff will come with the, with the quality that we have. Was, was there a specific goal for today that you guys were looking to kind of go after? Um, not just, necessarily. Just, just a part of the process. Yeah, just part of the process. I mean, more along the lines of we always come about what do we do with the ball, all those things, right? But um, we were just really just trying to see what we were improving our core principles of things. Right. Yeah. Um, Watching it felt, felt a little chippy at times. Does that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt it was a little bit too chippy for a preseason game. Mm-hmm. I felt it was too too chippy for a preseason game. Yeah, but I mean, you're, you're gonna have some of those games in, in the league, right? Uh, yeah, and you need those, right? Yeah, you need those, right? Yeah. I mean, in preseason, you, you just try to protect guys and hopefully they don't get injured. So you hope the chippiness doesn't come about. But if it does, how do you deal with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna just keep doing what we're doing. We're just not gonna change. I mean, we're. Gonna, we're going to figure out how to work through things. And we do know that teams are going to come and try to stop us from doing what we do. And so we just got to get better at what we do so they can't stop us from what we want to do. Has anybody kind of stood out, even from the side guys or in the trials, like specifically today, who stood out for you? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I mean, obviously, jong has been here through the tryouts, and I mean, he just keeps getting better, right? Um, and we just expect to, to go through the ups and downs. Beto... Just got here, you know, been just trained this week and played, and, you know, doesn't really quite understand what we want, but he, he tried to impose himself in the game. And um, Aiden Bowers, again, right, I thought he was good. Yeah. yeah, you know, kind of pointing out those guys because they're the new guys, but I think our guys that have been here are still getting better and still improving. Yeah, I think, I think, we're, I think, we're, moving in, I think we're moving there. I mean, I think we still want to add probably two, three players maybe still to the group. Um, but everybody we add now, they have to be able to come in and fight for a starting spot. We're not really looking for depth. You know, that's been our model all season, is that we're only, we're only signing players that we feel like can be in our starting 11. So. Uh, the game was, for my side, was good. What, what will, what all, what we'll propose for this game, what we're training at this, this week, we, are, we, we realized today. Uh, the action we saw, how the uh, the team play, and we just make our game to improve something in, like today, to attack on the side, pass back or something like that. This stuff, and I think it was a good game. We realize all what we should to do. Sure. Yeah, to be honestly, I was surprised how many fans is coming like to the friendly game. And uh, I want faster to come to the official game to show them. Like I think it's a lot of fans. It's coming. I want to say thank you for them. <clears throat> this win, like what we do today, is for them. And we will try. We will improve our game to do the best in the official game to force them to coming uh, more and more. And uh, really, I feeling like they was like 12 players on the on the field today. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. they help us a lot of. Uh, have to be the the feeling when you do first season because we work like two times in the week. We have two trainings. We are ready for this type of game. Yeah, today was so so hot. What we don't expect because all the week was just rain, and today was hot. But we have to prepare because in the summer will be the worst. I think it will be hotter. But we we should to do that. And uh, we we was ready for this hard game for a lot of run. A lot of effort because we have to be ready for every team in the in the league and to be ready like every every game we have to be very good rest and be ready for every game like if it will be two games in the week we have to be ready for that okay was that your the, the goal you scored they want to go is that the plan or or is that the play or did you have a little bit of luck there well the funny thing is i mean every player is going to claim it but we, we do actually practice that in terms of Yeah, we don't practice me scoring every time, but just putting the ball in the right area and you have the lads in the box doing their job and if it hopefully it's on target and even if one of our lads gets a flick on it, that's what we practice in training and 
sometimes it goes in. Even in training this week, a couple actually went in, so I wouldn't say it was too much of a fluke. <laughs> you don't expect to score that way, but I think if you give yourself a chance, and as I keep saying, we practice it week in, week out, and when it, when it comes off, it's, it's always nice. Yeah. What did you get out of this? Uh, I thought it was good. I mean, it's like any pre-season game. Um, we're always looking to build on previous weeks, and we've had a couple of good results and a couple of not so good, uh, good results. So we're trying to just keep progressing each week. Um, yeah, we, we prepare the same no matter which team we're playing. And I think sometimes on a morning when it's maybe a little bit damp, we're used to the pitch being quick. So now coming on the afternoon, it's how how do we adjust to the pitch being a little bit slower and still playing our possession and. Sometimes you just need an extra touch to settle the ball, and yeah, we, we don't change how we prepare, um, no matter who we're playing, really, whether it was Atlanta United or a college team. We're, we're always trying to build on what we're good at. <laughs> it's it's hard to compare in pre-season yeah. too much. Um, obviously, we know there's teams in our league who are pretty direct, similar to how Knoxville played. Um, some some bigger lads on the team, which I thought Anatoly was fantastic to do winning aerial battles and the whole team together like even though it's more physical than what you ex- expect from a pre-season game right. you, you have to be have to be ready for that because at the end of the day if you don't experience that in pre-season when it comes to playing a team in the league who are going to be physical mm-hmm. you don't want to be sort of surprised by that so I thought it was a good test today and we, we kept our heads for the most part even under the circumstances so that's that's good for us as a team and that's what we we always try and work on try not to lose our heads when yeah. tackles go flying in and just keep our composure and keep playing our football. Right. Um, I think sometimes 10 men can be a little bit of a strange one. For us, we probably shouldn't have sat back as much. I think our possession normally gets us out of pressure and sometimes I think if you, if you have that advantage... I'm not sure. I think teams go into the shell a little bit, thinking, "Oh, we just need to protect this league and uh, this this lead." Sorry, and I think looking back at it now, we can always. I think towards the end of the game, we started progressing back up the field. There was a few minutes where we were under a bit of a fire from from balls whipped in and them being dangerous in the box. So I think it's just, even though. If they do go down to 10 men, how can we mentally reset and make sure that we're ready for how they're going to play? Because ultimately they have a little bit more space with 10 men, so it's not as if it changes the dynamic of the game. Even though technically we should have the advantage, it doesn't always feel that way. Um, So I think it's just managing the game and realising that we just need to get back to basics, whether that's through the game being physical, whether that's a team going down to 10 men, how can we reset and just play our football? How close do you feel like the team is to, to really coming together? I, I know preseason guys are in and out, um, but, but you're getting closer to it being the group. Yeah, I think it's getting there, and it takes a bit of time. Obviously, we've had a, a longer preseason than what's normal, um, which is not a bad thing. It gives you a bit more time to build that match fitness up. It, it is difficult when you've got rotation each week of different different players coming in and leaving, um, but I think we're pretty close now to having that complete squad and personally I'm, I'm happy with the players we've added. We've got a really good dressing room and just continuing to build that culture and build that camaraderie as a team I think goes a long way. Um, yeah, just looking forward to getting started in the league now. For me, I think Richie always goes under the radar a little bit, does a lot of, a lot of hard work in the midfield and if you're not scoring the goals sometimes you don't get all the credit which I think for him turns up every week and works as hard as he possibly can I think for me that that goes amiss sometimes um, and then that's a big thing and as a, as a team as long as everyone's putting 100% in and that's all you can ask yeah there's going to be technical breakdowns now and again as a team but yeah. if everyone's giving 100% you can't complain and yeah. hopefully the fans see that as well from yeah. the core group of players and the team in general hopefully bringing that and Richie being the leader of what he is just on and off the field I think that goes a long way I would say Anatoly um, just offers a real presence at the back. As much as we've got some some new lads who have who've played a big a big part in the team already, and they've not been around the club for a while, I'd say Anatoly's offers a lot of 
size and a, a lot of stability at the back, um, which is great for, for midfielders, knowing that he's going to be up there winning the ball and also how can we help him succeed as well with the ball at his feet, so not just in the air, how can he be contributing, yeah. playing the ball and playing our our possession and the football that we, we try and play week in, week out. And I'd say Anatoly's probably one to, to keep an eye on. I'm sure a lot of the fans today noticed his presence at the back. So, yeah, I'd probably give him a shout-out. Yeah.